650 time now for the morning rush. Albuquerque police are searching for twin brothers with a violent history. Danielle and Daniel and Dominic Chavez Montoya are accused of not only shoplifting from multiple stores in southwest Albuquerque a few months ago. The brothers have several felony warrants. If you see them, you're encouraged to call police or crime stoppers. We are learning more about the suspects in a double murder as well as a shooting and kidnapping in Clovis. 23 year olds Samantha Harley Cisneros and Taryn Allen of Texaco. They were found dead at a park north of Clovis. Now police say that a five year old girl had been shot and a 10 month old girl had also been kidnapped. On Monday, investigators tracked down 26 year old Alec Collins along with the missing baby. Now the FBI said that they re had received a call from him last year threatening to harm children. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are in the mid 50s this morning. You shouldn't need as many layers as yesterday. It'll be a mild and windy afternoon. The Albuquerque City Council is facing backlash as councilors seek to change a city policy. On Monday, councilors Brooke Passan and Renee Grout, they introduced an amendment to the city's immigrant friendly policy. Well, that would allow the city to enforce federal immigration laws if an illegal immigrant commits a violent crime. Some community members are now speaking out against that proposal, which is now in committee. Hi, Ms. Pueblo will be getting some major upgrades to its irrigation infrastructure thanks to a multi-million dollar grant. The U.S. Department of Commerce is awarding $3 million to the Pueblo. The grant will expand water supplies for the local farming community and food vendors following a series of monsoons and wildfires in the region. Erica. Here's a look at our threat index. It is still high today as we'll be seeing strong winds up to 55 miles per hour and high fire danger. Primates at the Albuquerque Biopark are enjoying some newly improved habitats. The Biopark says they've upgraded the enclosures of their chimpanzee, orangutan and gorillas as part of a recent enrichment project. The habitats feature new structures for swinging, climbing and lounging. A New Mexico judge is now preventing the state's public education department from enforcing a controversial rule requiring a minimum of 180 school days. Under the restraining order, school districts that currently use a four-day calendar can continue to do so. Now, next Monday, the district judge will hear objections to the order. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a look at the big eye. Traffic is starting to build up there. A resident in Northern California is sharing video of two different bears stopping by his property for a snack. The man said that he spotted the bears on Sunday at his home in North Lake Tahoe. One of them can be seen uh, eating from a tub of sour cream. Local authorities say the bears in the area are often searching for food around homes and vehicles. Time now for the five facts. And number five, primates at the Albuquerque Biopark are enjoying some newly improved habitats. The Biopark says they have upgraded the enclosures for their chimpanzee, orangutans and gorillas as part of a recent enrichment project. The habitats feature new structures for swinging, climbing and lounging. At number four, a New Mexico judge is now preventing the state's public education department from enforcing a controversial rule requiring a minimum of 180 school days. The district judge issued the temporary restraining order on Friday in response to a lawsuit filed last month by the New Mexico School Superintendents Association and about 55 school districts. Under that restraining order, school districts that currently use a four day calendar can continue to do so. At number three, it's going to be staying breezy today. Winds will start picking up during the afternoon. 35 mile per hour gusts are expected in the metro. At number two, Albuquerque police are now searching for twin brothers with a violent history. Brothers Daniel and Dominic Chavez Montoya. They are accused of not only shoplifting from multiple stores in southwest Albuquerque a few months ago, but also beating up employees. Now APD says that Dominic is accused of stealing more than $2,400 in merchandise from a Lowe's in nor northwest Albuquerque before going to another Lowe's on Juan Tabo, unsuccessfully attempting to shoplift again. The brothers both have several felony warrants. And at number one, we are learning more about 26 year old Alec Collins. The man police say is responsible for killing two women and kidnapping a 10 month old. Collins is accused of killing 23 year old Samantha Harley Cisneros and Taryn Allen of Texaco before kidnapping Cisneros' baby. Investigators found Collins and the baby at his home in Abilene, Texas on Monday morning. According to court documents, Collins called the FBI list last year saying if the feds did not help him find his daughter, he was going to quote murder a bunch of kids.